Dylan McKnight is wrong. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Burn Video on the channel. In today's video, I'm actually gonna talk a little bit more about Dylan McKnight, a former skinny guy who also gives out skinny guy advice on his YouTube channel. And besides being a great motivator and himself, you know, making a good transformation, there are definitely a couple of key points, three to be exact, that I completely disagree with and that every skinny guy watching this video should avoid. So if you wanna actually gain weight and build muscle, you wanna do it the right way, you wanna learn the things you can take away from him, the good things, but you also wanna learn about the bad things he advises, then keep watching this video. I have real life example, people DMing me, and more results I'm gonna show until the end of this video. So keep on watching, let's make some gains. Now something I really wanna make clear is that if Dylan is watching this, or other people who love Dylan's channel, I love his channel as well, I think he makes some great videos, but the only goal I have in this video is to help skinny guys gain weight and build muscle and do it the right way. So in no way, shape or form is this a personal attack on this channel. I even recommend you guys checking him out, links in the description. Now the first thing I completely disagree with is the dirty bulk. And guys, I have a ton of notes for this video, so keep watching. Now the first screenshot I wanna show is from a skinny guy who simply texted me, was like, yo Victor, I gained X amount of kgs like in the last four weeks, and everything has actually went to my belly. It's because these guys are dirty bulking. Dirty bulking is simply a way of gaining weight with a very big calorie surplus. Meaning if your body naturally burns 2,000 calories and you're eating 3,000, you have a surplus of 1,000 calories causing a lot, a lot of weight gain so much weight gain that you're literally gaining four, five, six kgs a month. And if you guys know anything about science, then you know that science can't be beat. If I have this pen and I drop it, it falls down, it's gravity. If you gain weight too much in a 1000 calorie surplus every single day, you gain five kgs a month. And no, you're not only gaining muscle, you're gaining water weight and you're gaining fat. And this is exactly what happens to guys like this. This is the exact reason why I'm making this video. I'm getting DMs like this way too often. Skinny guys telling me that they're gaining way too fast, you know, with bad foods. And at the same time, they're simply gaining way too fast to the point where everything is fat. And I can already hear the guys in the comment section. Dylan McKnight looks good right now. Dylan McKnight probably benches more than you, Victor. 100%. My goal was never ever to be a power lifter. My goal was never to be, you know, a big guy in the gym. I just wanted to feel comfortable and when I made this transformation from 50 kgs all the way up to 87 in the morning right now, gaining 37 kgs myself, I never lost my abs, I did it the lean way and I feel amazing right now. The only goal I had was to fill out a shirt and to look better and be more confident in my own body. So it doesn't mean shit that this guy can bench more, deadlift more, weigh more. Because most goals of skinny guys that I hear on personal calls with them is they want to fill out a shirt build some muscle and still look decently lean. Nobody ever tells me on a call that they wanna be a big bodybuilder, that they wanna be overly huge. Skinny guys just wanna fill out a shirt and feel better about themselves. And the dirty bulk is the worst way to do it because you get fast results, but also fake results. And I've been in your situation, I've been the skinny guy and the only thing that counted for me was seeing the number going up on the scale. The only thing I cared about waking up in the morning when I stepped on the scale was seeing that digit move one up, even if it was 100 grams, I was happy. But I'm telling you right now, just seeing the numbers go up is not enough. You wanna gain real weight, you wanna gain muscle weight, and if you know anything about the science behind it, there's only a certain amount of weight you can gain every single month. Only 1.5 to 2 kgs can actually be a good combination of water weight and muscle. So anything you're gaining above that is naturally going to be fat and I don't want you guys to do this. So follow the lean bulk and subscribe to the channel. And now the last thing I wanna say about this, I personally gained 37 kgs in my career, so to say, of being a skinny guy and bulking up. You have to realize that I did this over a period of three years and I gained weight on an average of about one to 1.5 kgs a month with a couple of pauses in there. If you want to gain 20 kgs, 45 pounds, a huge amount of weight, you can literally do this in a little over or a little under a year with the lean bulk. The only thing you won't see is these fast results on the scale in the first two to three months. But by taking it slow, you will keep your apps, you will keep definition, and you'll fill out a shirt in a good way. So do the lean bulk and take it slow. The second thing I don't like is food advice. Although he did make some good recommendations, the way you guys achieve a surplus is also a big reason of your natural health. Let me set something straight first of all. I don't care if you eat 2000 calories worth of pizza, or 2000 calories worth of chicken, rice and broccoli. It's all about the surplus, okay? If your surplus is 
uh, 1000 calories, you'll gain weight very fast. If your surplus is 100 calories, you'll gain weight very slowly. Okay, you can have a surplus with 100 calories, eat pizza all day and gain weight slowly, okay? So I'm not saying that you can't drink chocolate milk or eat a pizza or, or, or go out and eat some fast food. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that he advises a huge calorie surplus, which is a dirty bulk. That's a fact. And he advises foods like drinking a full cup of chocolate milk. Roll the clip. Run the dirty bulk. The dirty bulk. It's so easy to hit that caloric surplus every day. This is what I'm drinking right now. I just drink three cups of chocolate milk. It's super easy to get down and it's about 220 calories per cup, which would be 660. Chocolate milk filled full of sugar, high in fats, other foods he recommended. And this is simply the reason why I don't like it. Not only are you in a big caloric surplus, making you gain weight very, very fast, you're also doing it with bad foods. And the bad foods itself do not, you know, immediately contribute to the fat gain, but general health, you know, if you eat too much sugar, not good for your teeth, not good for your general health, and saturated bad fats are also generally not the best, obviously, for your physique and for your own health, so to say. So the way he also achieves this calorie surplus is bad as well. And those are two big red flags for me. Now, the biggest point I want to talk about in this video, he got fat for two years. Look at this before and after of his first transformation and his second transformation video he's made. One thing you guys have to keep in mind, when people make this before and after pictures, they are using good lighting, they are using a pump in the gym, and they're posing in their best way possible. And in my opinion, this is no disrespect to you watching if you're watching this, he still looked fat. He gained a huge amount of fat. He was literally a fat guy at that point. Because if, you are, if that is your best after picture in good lighting with a pump and all those kind of things, you gain so much weight. Imagine how he looked like when he woke up. Imagine how he looked like without a pump in bad lighting. He gained so much weight and so much fat. And this is the thing I want to say. If you look at his after physique right now, I have to give him props. It looks amazing. He looks bulked up. He looks huge. Probably bigger than me. But we'll get back to that in a second. But he was fat for two year, like a one to two year period in between. Do you want to get to a physique that you can achieve with a lean bulk? Or do you want to get towards that same physique by being fat for two years, stuffing yourself with bad foods and eventually getting to the same end result? The only downside you have with the lean bulk is that you might not bench as many kgs, but that is never our goal in the beginning. We want to look like we bench 100 kgs. We don't actually want to bench 100 kgs. For me or for a lot of skinny guys, it's about filling out that shirt. It's about just being more confident. It's not about the weight you're pushing in the gym. So he was literally fat for two years. And that's something that really, really hurts me, like to see how big he got with the good genetics. Because look at the before and after picture from both of us. My before picture, I was going to the gym here for six months already. His before picture, he was doing some type of gymnastics, like a lot of flipping. He was called Dylan Flipping McKnight on his Instagram. And at the same time, he already did some pull-ups. So we were kind of like training, and I'm sure I'll give him the, you know, the benefit of the doubt, so to say, maybe he was training better than me, but you can clearly see good chest separation, you can clearly see good ab genetics and just good genetics overall. And this was his before picture. In my opinion, he looked better on his before picture than his after picture. And you can clearly tell by his before picture that he had way better genetics than a true skinny guy like me. I was tall, man. I'm, I'm six foot three myself. I have a tough time gaining weight. You can see no chest development at all on a very skinny, skinny frame. And his frame was actually decent. So the point I'm trying to make here is the following. We're talking about a guy that followed the dirty bulk with very good genetics and he still got to this physique after two years, a fat physique. Imagine what happens to the skinny guys who are true skinny guys like me and who don't even have the, the, the good genetics, so to say. Imagine what happens to those people. Then that's coming back to this screenshot. Then you gain six kgs in a month and all of that is fat. It's just the truth. And the, the, the last point I want to make is the following. He has a friend, I think his friend is called Drew, Andrew, whatever. If you look at his transformation, like he clearly had worse genetics, definitely in his chest than Dylan. And you can see by him doing the exact same thing for a huge proportion of the time they were working out together, he, his after physique, again, is not a physique I would personally desire as a skinny guy. It's not a good after physique. You can see how bad the after physique is when you don't have the amazing genetics. So in my opinion, the only reason it turned out kind of good for him is because he did have the good genetics and he's obsessed with training. You have to realize Dylan McKnight went to the gym with professional bodybuilders, learning about all the techniques. He's clearly very knowledgeable when it comes down to gaining weight and building muscle, because I won't say he's not a knowledgeable guy. He clearly knows how to lift. 
He's very strong and he lives and breathes the gym. He works out very hard, he even shows up in the gym. That's how hard he is going. But this video, I'm not making this video for the gym freaks. I'm making this video for the skinny guys just like me, who just wanted to fill out a shirt and be more confident. You guys don't want to go to the gym six times a week. You guys don't want to hit two hour workouts. You guys simply don't have the, the, the knowledge and the motivation for that. So if those guys are following his advice, coming back to the screenshot, you gain fat. Now the reason why I'm so passionate about this and why I'm kind of like, you know, hiring my voice, so to say, is because I work together with skinny guys. I'm on calls with 300 skinny guys. Like I've literally been on calls with over 300 skinny guys over the last couple of years. I've been replying to every single DM I got on my Instagram and the amount of times I see people texting me that they gained fat because they followed a random diet on YouTube or because they probably got inspired by guys like Dylan, you know, to try the dirty bulk. It honestly hurts me. Uh, you know, because I know how bad I felt when I was skinny. I know how good I feel right now after making this transformation. And I also know how well I can help skinny guys. You can look at the transformations. I have a full client interview series on my channel. You know, literally a couple of hours of skinny guys explaining why my methods do work. I always preach about the lean bulking method. And if you want to learn more about the actual good way of, of gaining weight, if you want to combine the good things Dylan McKnight does with the things I do even better, then you should do a couple of things. First of all, subscribe to the channel. There's literally over 200 videos of me showing you guys full day of eatings, tips and tricks on how to gain weight, real life client results, and my personal transformations that will literally inspire and help you to gain weight and build muscle. And that is completely for free on my YouTube channel. If you want to take it a step further, you can follow me on my Instagram and you can literally DM me your personal situation. You can literally talk to me. I reply to every single DM for the last two and a half years. I don't miss any single DM and you can literally talk to me and we can see if such how I can help you out in your situation. Okay. And then the third thing you can do, if you're very serious about this, you can literally DM me the word wait and I can see if such how I can help you. And I know you want to make a change and you're also applying for my one-on-one -on -one coaching that way. Again, Dylan, if you made it to this part of the video, this is no personal attack, but the last thing I want is skinny guys, you know, following your channel and you have a bigger influence than me currently. I don't want you guys to follow his advice and, and end up being worse off than before watching his videos. You're a good guy, Dylan. You made an amazing transformation. I will keep following your, your videos, but at the same time, I had to disagree with some points and I hope you do not take it personal. This video was only for the skinny guy community. I hope you guys appreciate it. Follow the channel, subscribe, send me a DM, but more importantly, let's make these gains.